dead boy. I want to see. Right, me for me. I wonder where I send in the street, sir. Our shoes was worn to pieces. No wedding ring. I see the old story. Another mouth for the orphanage. Until he's old enough for the orphanage, I'll be father and mother to him. Gentlemen, what's your name, boy? Oliver Twist. What? Who gave you that name? I did, sir. You see, I names my orphans according to a little invention of my own. So the given names according to the month. The surnames according to the alphabetical order in which they arrive. If it's in July, it's James or John and so on. Now this lad here come in October. O for October, O for Oliver. He was the 20th that come that year. The 20th letter of the alphabet is T. T for twist. O for Oliver, T for twist. I calls him Oliver Twist. Simple, ain't it? Of course, I've lots of trouble with the hexes and the zets. We understand, ain't. Mr. Bumble. You know you're an orphan, don't you? The boy's a fool. I knew he was. You know that you have no father and mother, don't you? That you were brought up by the parish. What are you crying for? I hope you say your prayers every night and pray for the people who take care of you and feed you. You come here to be educated and to learn a useful trade. And so tomorrow morning, you begin by scrubbing the floor of the workhouse dining room. And after that?
Makers, for what we are about to receive, Lord, make us truly thankful. Amen. Pardon, sir, but Oliver Twist has asked for more. What? Am I to understand that after he had eaten the generous supper the law allows, he asks for more? Bumble, lock him up. Yes, sir. You come with me. The boy's unincorrigible, sir. Can't you arrange to apprentice him to someone? I will. That boy will be hanged. I know he'll be hanged. Can you do for a night, any boy? Any money? Want a place to sleep tonight? I do indeed. I know a nice old gentleman who'll give you lodging for nothing. That is, if any gentleman he knows introduces you. Does he know you? And does he know me? Oh no, not in the least. By no means, certainly not. What's your name? Oliver Twist. Who's 
there. Sidonka. Who's the other? A new pal, Oliver Twist. Ah. This is him, Oliver. My friend, Mr. Feigen. Pleased to see you, Oliver. All of us, ain't we, my dear? Yes, right now. Dodger, fetch a plate for Oliver. Silk Yankees, every one of them. We have to have our silk wipes, don't we, my dear? <laughs> Drink it, Oliver. Good for you, my dear. Good for you. Had a drop in sixty days. <laughs> a young friend of mine, my dear. He's certainly in luck, sir. Oliver, where do you think the gentleman comes from? I, I don't know, sir. <laughs> Never mind where I came from, young fellow. You'll find your way there soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've been working this morning, my dear. Mmm. Ain't they lined beautiful? What an ingenious workman. Oliver, wouldn't you like to make pocket handkerchiefs as easy as Charlie Day? Very much, sure, if you'll teach me. But <laughs> My dears, shall we have a little game? I know. Just to amuse Oliver? I know. Hey, hey Oliver. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry, sir. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's been drinking again. You better let him have it. Hello, Charlie. Hello, Doctor. Oh, yeah, Nancy. A new pupil, my dear. Oliver. This is Nancy. Hello, Oliver. Hello. Not another penny until he cracks that crib. All right. See you later. <laughs> Make them your models. Do everything they tell you, especially the Dodger. He'll make you, my boy. He'll make you. Oliver, would you like to play that funny game? If you please, sir. <laughs> See if you can take it out without my feeling it. Eh? Oh, slowly. Uh, slowly, artistically. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Here's a shilling for you. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> You'll be a great man one day. You'll live in history, Oliver. What's history? Him. I won't. You know, I'd rather not appear against him. A handkerchief. Sorry, sir, but you'll have to. I kicked the bookstore, sir. Oh, yes. I saw it all through the open door. But there were two other boys, Mr. Barrow. Oh. They, but they were the real thieves. But this boy was only confused and started to run. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Oh, come on, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Would you like to come home with me? Yes, sir. Cap! Papa's got him, that's all. What the 
devil's going on here? Come on, Bullseye. Come in, dear. Ill treating the boys again, are you? Right on. If I was one of them, I'd have cracked your head open long ago. Not so loud, Mr. Sykes. Oh, Mr. again, eh? What do you want now? Nothing. Nothing. You haven't poisoned it, have you? Where's the new boy? The coppers got him. Well, he might say something to get us into trouble. Oh, that boy won't squeal. Well, if he ain't squealed, and he's committed, there ain't nothing to fear until he gets out again. Just the same. Somebody has to go to the police station and find out what they've done with him. What do you say, my dear? She'll go, Fagin. No, she won't, Fagin. Yes, she will, Fagin. Ready, Miss Rose. Thank you, Giles. They told me my mother died when I was a baby. That's the truth, sir. Every bit of it. You're not going to send me away, are you, Mr. Branlow? Of course not, dear. Unless you give me cause. I never will, sir. Uncle Bear, it's tea time. Oh, that's good, Rose, dear. My cousin Agnes. Look. What is it, Uncle? Oh, nothing, nothing, my dear. Excuse me, sir. It's Mr. Grimwig. Oh, that's nice, child. Uh, pardon me. Uh, Mr. Grimwig asked me if we were going to have rock cakes for tea. And when I said yes, he said he'd stay. Oh, won't you stay, dear? No, Uncle. We'll have tea in the sitting room. Come on, Oliver. Good afternoon, Rouse. How do you do, ah, Mr. Grimwig? The next boy, how are you? So, this is the little boy who's been ill, eh? Huh? Oliver, this is Mr. Grimwig. How are you, boy? Pretty well now, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Come along, some tea. Yeah. Nice looking boy, isn't he? <coughs> I never see any difference in boys. Who is it? What is it? All you know is you picked him up on the street. I know more than that. I questioned him and found him a very nice little fellow. Truthful. And quite different from the average boy from the workhouse. Ah, you're a sentimental old fool, sir. Mm. I beg your pardon, sir, but these books... Haven't they gone back yet? I'm sorry, sir, but... Oh, no, it, it's all right, Giles. It's my fault. I quite forgot. Oh, and his bill, too, and he's been so patient. Why don't you send Oliver with him? He'll deliver them slightly. Giles, ask Master Oliver to come here, will you please? Oh, 
Oliver, dear, you remember the bookstall? Uh... Oh, yes, very well, sir. Well, here are five pounds. You are to say that you have come to pay the four pounds that I owe. And you'll get one pound in change. I'll be back in 20 minutes, sir. him back, do you? Don't you? It's exactly ten minutes past four, old friend. Mm -hmm. My little brother! My dear little brother! Oh, Oliver! Let go! Please let go! Oliver, I found you! Thank God I found you! Oh, oh do come home, dear! Please come home! <laughs> what is the matter, miss? He ran away weeks ago. He's not my sister, she's... Nancy, please, please. <laughs> you see, he knows me. <laughs> come on, come on, Oliver. No, on, she's not you my come. sister. to see you looking so well, Oliver. That's mine, Fagin. Uh -huh. Hand it over. Fancy, that ain't fair. It ain't fair. Nimble with your fingers, ain't you? Yeah, you keep the books, Nancy, if you're fond of reading. Please send them back. Please send them back. Don't think I stole them. <laughs> of course we'll send them back, Oliver. Of course we will. Never lose faith, my friend. I did once. You mean your daughter? Yes, Agnes. Your queen is in danger. But you were right about her husband, weren't you? Yes. He's dead now. And uh, Agnes? I don't... I ain't. Keep still. No, I won't. What do you think of that? So, you wanted to get away, did you? for a brat to be making a friend of. I know, I know. Feel, feel. You stay out of this, you puny little Chris. Nancy. Just the days I was when you got me.
I want to see Mr. Brownlow, please. He's not at home. I'm Mr. Brownlow's niece, Miss Maley. Oh. Well, I've come to return these books and this money. Oh, won't you come in? Won't you sit down? I don't understand it. Oh, I'm putting my life and the lives of others in your hands. But before I speak, I must pledge you to secrecy. You have my word. I... Uh, I brought the books and the money back because Oliver wants Mr. Brownlow to know that he's not a thief. But why didn't Oliver come himself? He's in the ends of peace. But why are you? I'm one of them. I've been, ever since I was Oliver's age. And I want to save him if I can. Who are these people? Where are they? I can't tell you. Not now. But why if... No, please. Please. My uncle will be back very soon. Please wait. No. Then let me bring my uncle to you. He'll know what to do. Any time, any place. Won't you please? Very well then. Next Sunday night at 12. And every Sunday after. I'll be walking on London Bridge. Certainly you can trust me, Mrs. Corney. You know as much about me as I know about you, my dear. I need money bad, Mr. Fagan. And they all tell me you're the man to come to. Mm. Depends upon what it is and how much you want for it, my dear. I'm a businessman. Kept it all these years. I knew the time had come when someone would... Toby, see who that is. Anybody can steal, Bill. But when they want to sell, they've got to come to fame. got over. The women? What's happened to you, Toby? No go. Such silver, too. Such silver. Fagan, is it worth an extra 50 if it was safely done from the outside? Then I need a boy. A small boy. Nancy, fetch us a jug of beer, will you? Go on, Fagin. You needn't mind me. Tell him what you were thinking. <laughs> You're smart, Nancy, ain't you? <laughs> ain't she, Bill? Uh, she's a clever girl. An honor to her sex. I wish it was all like her. 
Go on, get him ready. Get up, straight away. You're going out. Are you going to help me get away? Yes, dear. But this isn't the time. Promise me, Oliver. That you'll do exactly as I tell you, won't you? And remember, whatever happens, you're not to blame. My dear. Good night. Clear, Chitley? All in bed and the light out. Keep watch. Any sign of a light in the upstairs? Give us a whistle. Here. Take this. And when I put you through that window, go straight ahead until you come to the street door. Open it quiet. Oh, it's just a little 
boy. Why, it's Oliver. Giles, the doctor, run. Rose, bandages. Bedwin, hot water. Fine. How'd you feel, Bill? Uh, never mind me. Give us a hand here. Get me off this blooming bed. Where's the gin? Please, Bill, you've been very ill. Don't drink anymore. Bullseye. What's the matter? Don't you know the devil when he's got an overcoat on? Well, Bill, how are you, my dear? None the better for seeing you. <laughs> Have a drink, Fagin. Oliver? No, he's all right. Only a scratch. Lucky for me. It would have cost me a pretty penny if he'd kicked off. Cost you? How? I've got something here from Oliver's mother that'll bring me hundreds when I'm ready to part with it. And so? Such things keep well with Fagin. I want him back. Forget it, Fagin. He's better off where he is. I've got more reason now than ever for wanting him back. Hello, past 11. Time for me to be going. What are you doing with your things, Anne? I want a breath of air. I'm going out. Nancy, you ain't thinking now. Thinking of what? Well, ain't I? A staunch a girl of living. Or I'd have cut her throat long ago. Right, Bill. Right. Ain't you, Nancy?
with my uncle. How do you do? We waited for you last Sunday night. I couldn't get away. I was kept by force. It isn't easy for me to leave unless he knows. But tonight he was drunk. drunk. Have you any news for us? Well, only this. But Sagan carries round his neck something that belonged to Oliver's mother. Then it is your duty to give this thief up to the police. No. No, I'll never do that. Never. Oh, but this that Sagan has. Oh, if I could only see it for one moment, perhaps I could... If I can get hold of it, I'll bring it to you. If I do this, you won't turn them over to the police, though. Not any of them. You have our promise. Can't we do something to help you? Oh, there must be something. Think now. No. No, nothing. Nothing, thank you. Well, I... I must go now. We may be watched. Oh, no. No, please. Oh, pretty well, then. As you wish. God bless you, Nancy. Thank Good you, ma'am. Good night. And she didn't see me. I know it. You saw her face clearly. You're sure it was Nancy? Quite sure. Get your coat, Charlie. We're going to see. She... I have nothing against you, Bill. Well, that's lucky for one of us. Come on, open your mouth. Say what you gotta say. Suppose that lad over there... Supposing he was to squeal on us. Going to the right people for the purpose. Having a meeting with them. Painting our likenesses. Tell him where we could most easily be taken. Suppose he did all that. What then? I'd crush his skull under the heel of my boot. And if I did it, I that know so much and could hang so many, I'd beat your brains out. I'd have such strength. And that... if it was the Dodger, I don't care who. And if it was her. What do you mean? Charlie, come here. Tell me that again, for him to hear. Tell your what? About Nancy. You followed her? Yes. To London Bridge? Yes. Where she met two people? So she did. A lady and gentleman she'd gone to before of her own accord, who asked her to give up her pals, which she did, to tell them what house we met at, which she did, what time we went there, which she did. She did all this of her own accord, without any threat, didn't she? the way it was. What did they say about last Sunday? They asked her why she didn't come. She said she couldn't. Why? Why? Tell him that. 
said she couldn't go out without telling him where she was going. And tonight. Tonight, she got him drunk. Dead drunk. Let me go. Bill! Bill! Let me out! Don't talk to me. It ain't safe. Not too violent, Bill. Not too bold, Bill. Crafty. Crafty. Leave it be. There's light enough for what I gotta do. Why'd you look at me like that? Come on. I won't scream, Bill. Not once. Tell me what I've done. You know. Nothing to hurt you, Bill. So help me, God. You was what? Every word you said was heard. Then you know that I was true to you, Bill. True to you, you hear me? I'm not ready to go yet, Bill. Anything doing in town, Ben? They're talk of a murder, that's hey. all. Horrible murder to us, too. Who done it? A man by the name of Sykes. They'll get him, too. Took his dog along. They can prove he's an accessory before the fact. He'll hang. How in the world did he uh, through the cellar window? Where's the other? Done away with himself, maybe.
must have let him in. No help for it. How did he get here? Hello. Just now. Where's Fagan? They've taken him. Well, why don't you say something? You gonna sell me to the police? Do I stay in until this manhunt's over? Stay? If you think it's safe. It always has been. Is, is she buried? Why do they keep such ugly things above the ground? What's that knocking? There's no knocking, Bill. Not a sound. Give me your hand, Toby. Chiddling. Larger. Don't come near me. Nancy! Poor Nancy! Listen, you two, I'm not afraid of him. If they come here, I'd give him up. You hear me? I'd give him up.
Hagen. Hagen. That's me. An old man, my lord. A very old man. Somebody's come to see you. What right have they got to butcher me? Who are you? What do you want? You sent for Oliver Twist. There's something you want to give him. It's a lie. It's a lie. You're on the verge of death, Fagan. Now, if there is anything you can... There's a little present for you, Oliver. See there. Whisper, Oliver, dear. Take me outside. Outside. That door first. And if I tremble when we pass the gallows, never mind. Hurry, Oliver. Hurry. Softly. Softly. Not so slow. Faster. It's time. We'll go home now. Poor Mr. Fagan. Won't they forgive him, Miss Mary? They have forgiven him, Oliver. Just now. Look, Mr. Brownlow. There's writing inside the ring Mr. Fagin gave me. What does it say? Philip 2 A.G. Agnes. You're going to keep me with you. Always, Mr. Brownlow? Of course, Oliver. Always. 